Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to build this dependent dropdown setup. So basically, I have some cities and countries here. And if I change the country, then the cities that are available change. And the way I'm going to do this in Django is by using the library called HTMX, which is basically like a JavaScript replacement. It's meant to kind of enhance HTML so you can do these dynamic things in your app. And one of the things that you can do is create these dynamic dropdowns without using any JavaScript at all just a little bit of extra HTMX and it will work very easily. So if you're not familiar with HTMX and you wanna learn more about it, I have another video on that, so just check my channel. And if you are familiar with it and you have a project where you're using it or even Django, uh, you can contact me and get help one-on-one -on -one because I do something called a coaching service. So I help people with their projects uh, when they feel like they're stuck or when they need extra guidance. So if you're interested in that, go to prettyprinted.com slash coaching, or you can click on the link in the description below. So now let's get into creating this app demo that has these dependent dropdowns. To begin, let me show you what I have so far. So in my project, I have this app called Example. In here, I have models called Country and City. In my views.py file, I have a single view. It returns index.html, which looks like this has a bunch of styling information in it already. And this is what it looks like right now. And then there will be a little bit of styling when I put the two dropdowns in there. And then finally, I have the URL set up for this in urls.py. And we have the path on the index here. So the first thing I wanna do is I want to go back to my example app and I want to create a form. So this form will hold the two dropdowns. So forms.py and I can import from Django uh, forms. And I also want to import my two models. So from dot models, import country and city. So you could use a model form for this, but I'm going to keep it very simple and just create my own form. So what I'll do is I'll create a class and I'll call this location form for my form. And it's going to inherit from forms dot form. And then I need to define the two fields that I'll have. So one is country and one is city. So that's pretty obvious so far. Now for a country, what I want to do is I want to set the form field type as a model choice field, which basically builds a select option for whatever field that you have here. So for country and the way that this works is you have to pass a query set. So query set is going to be equal to country dot objects dot all. And by the way, I have some countries in the database already. Let me just go ahead and show you that. I'll start the shell and then from uh, example dot models i'm going to import country and city and i'll just do country dot objects dot all and we see if i put the r on country i get three countries the u.s canada and mexico and i can do the same thing for city and i have nine cities in the database and each city has the country on it so for example if i look at the first one Let's say the first item, I can say uh, country and I get United States. So this is for, I believe, Los Angeles and it already went away, I can't use underscore, but that was for LA because it was the first object in the results. So now let me go back to the code here. So I have this query set and the key for this is on the second one, I also use a model choice field and the query set for this one is going to be city.objects.none. So the idea is I want to use the query set, but I don't want to return anything because when I display the form, I shouldn't be able to select the city right at the start. I have to select the country first and then I'll be able to select the city. So let me go ahead and go to my views.py and I'll import this. Uh, so from forms, import location form. And then I'll just instantiate this here. So form equals location form. And I'll just pass it to the template. So we'll call this form and this will be a form here. And now inside of my template, what I can do is I can go down to the body and I can create form tags. So form, this will be a post. And then inside of the form, I have to put the CSRF token and I also have to put the fields. And for my purpose, I can just do form as P, right? So now let me start this up and go back to the browser and just refresh. And now we see the two dropdowns here. So one for country, one for city. So we see with country, I have the US, Canada, and Mexico. And for the city, I have nothing. So this returns all the countries and then the other one returns none of the cities. 
So the way to make this work is with HTMX, I need to send a request to my Django app that will give me the options for the city. So let me create that first, and then I'll show you how to add the HTMX. So to do this, I need to create another template. I'll call this, let's say city options.html. And all I'll be doing is looping over some list of cities. So for city in cities, and I'm going to have an option for the city. So I can say value equals, and then this will be city.id, and then I can close out the option, and in the middle, I can have city.name. So each city will be an actual city object, and then I can just do in for here. So this is all the template needs to look like, and all I'm doing here is just generating options, and the HTMX is going to take these options that it gets and inject them inside of this select here. So let's go back to views, and I want to create another view. We'll call this uh, load cities, and it takes in requests. And the first thing I need to do is I need to get the country ID. So HTMX will automatically pass the ID of the thing selected here. So here, like uh, US has an ID, Canada has an ID, and Mexico has an ID. Let me just show you what that looks like. If I go down here, we see that the US has value one, Canada two, and Mexico three. So this is what HTMX is eventually going to pass to this view that I'm creating right now. So I can get that. I can say country ID equals and then request dot get capital get and then get lowercase to get the country, right? And it's gonna use the name of the select here. So let me just show you here. If I go down, the country select name is country. So it's gonna pass the country ID with the same name here. So just keep that in mind. And then what I can do is I can query for all the cities that I have. So I can do cities equals city, and I need to import this. So from dot models import city. So city dot objects dot filter, and I want to filter by that country ID. So I can just do country ID equals country ID because the city has the country ID on it. And then I can return those cities to the template. So return uh, render request is the first argument. And then the name of the template is cityoptions.html. And then I can just pass the data like this. So cities equals cities like that. And I can set up the URL for this. So we'll have path. We'll call this load underscore cities. It's going to be views.loadcities again. And then the name can also be uh, load cities. Right, so let's see this working before I bring in HTMX. We can go back to the app here and I can go to slash load underscore cities slash and then a question mark, country ID equals one, actually country equals one. And I get Los Angeles, New York City and Miami there. Two, I get cities in Canada and three, I get cities in Mexico. And if I view source here, we see that these are options and they have the value of the primary key. So seven, eight, and nine, because those are the last three cities that I added in the database. So now let me go back here and let me bring in the HTMX stuff. So the way that this works is I need to put some attributes on my country field. So here in forms, the two attributes have to deal with the endpoint that I'm going to send a request to, which is the one I just created at load cities. And then the location that the results of that request that endpoint end up. So I want to take the results and put them in the city field. So to do that, you have, and I'll just show you here. So for example, it would be like select, and then one attribute will be HX gets equals, and then this will be, you know, low cities. And then you have a HX target, which targets the ID of the city here. So if I go and view source again, we see here that the ID is ID underscore city. So it will look like this. It would be ID underscore city as a target. So it will take those options that are generated from the load cities and place them in the ID city select. And then we'll be able to use the dropdown. So let me delete this. And to do this, because I'm using the forms, I need to use a widget for this. And the widget will allow me to add extra attributes to my select. So what I can do, is I can maybe break here and say widget equals, 
So I'm going to modify the exact widget. So by default, it's a select and I will continue to use select. And inside of the select, I want to pass some attributes. And to do that, you pass a dictionary and each key will be the key of the attribute and then the value will be the value of the attribute. So I want hx gets as one. And then the other, like I said, is going to be hx target. And the value for hx get will be the endpoint. So it would be load underscore cities. And then the target is going to be hash ID underscore city. So now let's go back and refresh. And if I look at the page source now, we see hx get is here and hx target is here. And in the template, since I have HTMX already loaded, it should work. So let's refresh. Let's select the country, US, and now we see LA, New York, and Miami show up. If I go to Mexico, I see Tijuana, Mexico City, and Guadalajara. And of course, Canada is the same. So now what I want to do is I want to submit this information. So what I can do is I can put a button on my form. So button, we'll just say submit, go back and reload. And now I have the submit button. So let's say I want to submit New York City. What will happen when I do this? So let me go over to views. And in here, I want to have a case for posts. So I can say uh, if requests.method equals posts. So this is the form being submitted. And I can do form equals location form and pass in the request data. So requests.posts. And then I can see if it's valid. So if form dot is underscore valid, uh, what I want to do is I want to print the data for the country and the city. So form dot cleaned data, and I want to print country information. And I also want to print the city information here. So city, and let's say the form isn't valid. I want to print the error. So form dot errors. And then in the case that is not posts, I'll just load the form like I was before. So let's give this a shot. Let's go over, refresh, and I'll select the US and Miami. I'll hit submit. And we see select a valid choice. The choice is not one of the available choices. And the reason why this happens is because the choice for the city has to be something in the query result. So if I go here to form, I see city.objects is none. So that means I get nothing in the query result. So I need to modify this in some way so I can get the list of cities for that country only. So if I try to submit a city for a different country, it won't work. So the way that I can do this is I can modify things internally in the form. So I can do that by creating a dunder init. And this can just take the args and uh, keyword args. And then I'm going to call the original. So super dunder init, and then just pass the args and uh, keyword args here. And let me put a dot here. And all I have to do here is I can say if the country is in self.data. So if this form already has a country in it, meaning I've submitted it, or in some cases I'm loading it with a country already, but in this case it's for submitting. If I have the country in there already, then what I can do is I can try to get the country. So I can say country ID equals, and then I want to convert the value of this to an integer because it starts off as a string. So self.data and then gets and then country, right? So I want to convert this to an integer. And then I want to set the query set on my city field. So I can do self.fields and then get the city field. And then I can modify the query set. I can say city.objects and then filter country ID equals country ID. Exact same query that we saw in the other view. And just like this. So now let me go here, refresh. I'll select Canada and let's say Toronto, hit submit. And we see, I hit it a few times, but we see Canada and Toronto are the cities. And it's simply because the form is valid here and it's printing out country and city. So that's it for getting HTMX to work with Django when it comes to these dependent dropdowns. If you have any questions about anything that I've done in this video, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.